Hello, I'm Diego Saldivar, a Neurogames designer, and today I will be exploring The Crown. Neurosity The Crown, that is. It's this interesting guy you see here. First of all, sorry about the weird sound of the last video. I was still trying to figure this microphone out. Number one, number two. Um, this one is a little bit more expensive than the Emotive Insight. But I think it's well worth the money if you want something that looks nice and plays nice with you. So without further ado, let's see how this looks out the box. Were you looking at me? Yeah, that's the first thing you see in the Crown webpage. Be sure to go to neurosity.co without the M at the end because neurosity.com is an entirely different webpage. Rookie mistake. So. You can watch videos, see tech specs, developers, and so on and so forth. Quite frankly, since the cost was not that cheap, just $900, I thought I would contact the developers to ask whether they play nice with Unreal Engine or Unity. They say yes. And uh, they also have their own communication channels on Discord if you want to reach them out directly. They usually respond within a day, so that's nice. As soon as you get your crown, you will have to use your cell phone to pair it to the Wi-Fi in order to be able to access it through the cloud. You can also use BrainFlow to access it directly, but I have had a few problems with it in Unreal Engine so far. Once you have paired your crown, you will be able to access your console where you can have an activity log of how concentrated or not have you been, depending on your calmness and focus during the time you have used it. You can also just start a few widgets here and there to predict how calm you will be or check how calm you actually are or focused if you want to change that. And you can see that in real time. Signal quality here is not absolutely great because I'm trying to not disturb my hairdo for YouTube purposes, but Oh, oh well, you can also see where you're being connected and your battery. Yeah, battery kind of dies a little bit fast, but well, fast. It's one hour, two hours of gameplay before it goes. Uh, what I found very interesting is that when you're trying to connect for the first time, it kind of rumbles. And I think I may be able to use that as uh, part of my game design. You can also, of course, uh, check your brain waves in real time or as real as it gets. It's just a second delay or less. It's good enough, I think, um, if you want to play with those. Curiously enough, the brain waves here displayed kind of get recalibrated every now and then. Well, auto scaled in this case. As you can see, if I don't auto scale, they go all over the chart. You can also train your device to get certain commands, such as for instance, oh, I want to move my left arm, start training. And then you rest, imagine moving your left arm and so on and so forth. You just have to train for a few minutes so that it understands how you feel when you're trying to move your left arm, right arm, drop. There's many commands that you can use that may come useful for your game. So be sure to tell your players to please train this or that um, specific kinesis uh, commands so that you can use them in your game. And if you pay extra, you can use a device emulator, but I think that may come much more handy if you don't have enough crowns to play with and you need to develop something before your crown arrives. But uh, the crown is good enough, I believe. Now, of course, the first thing I wanted to do was to develop a game for either Unity or Unreal. And since Unreal 5 is something that's becoming a bit fashionable now, I thought I would give myself the challenge to create an Unreal Engine 5 game. So the first thing I wanted to do is to try out the tech and the SDK. The flashiest thing I could think of was your first web app. You can follow step-by-step -step scenarios here, or you can just download it from the GitHub. But it is very important that you remember that there's a few basic things that you need to get installed. And this is explained in your first Node app. Your prerequisites are Git, Node.js, that's important, NPM. You can you know, 
package that once Node.js is installed. If you did not study basic programming, some of these things may not be very intuitive. Google will be your friend, believe you me. So after following the steps, you can create this web app that you see right here. It's very elegant and nice. You put in your login information, which you should already have with your Neurosity account. And once you're in there, you can select your specific kind of device, the crown, or if you have older Notion uh, versions, you can also select those. And it tells you basic stuff, whether you're online or offline, whether it's charged, the battery is dying out, as you can see. And a percentage of how calmed or focused you are. This is just a mathematical equation that you use inside of the program. And um, you can also just get our raw information from zero to one, just like you can see in the console. Coming back into the console, you can see that here I have a calm score from zero, not calm, to one, very calm, and focus the same. Uh, or also kinesis left arm, how much I am trying to raise my left arm, like right now, it's very, very accurate. And I didn't even train it for that long. At any rate, this information is the information I want to plug into Unreal, for instance, to be able to make a game. So here comes the first hiccup. The problem is that Unreal does not natively support JavaScript in and of itself. You can use an Unreal.js plugin from the market, and that should be good enough for Java in general. However, the Crown or well, Notion actually use Node.js, Node JavaScript, which is a bit of a library plus its own library of um, commands that is not quite easy to open with the JavaScript plugin that you can find in the real marketplace. So you will have to use this specific plugin, Node.js, which is experimental. It's good enough. It may have its hiccups, but you will have to use the example project. Otherwise, the plugging in and of itself will not work out of the box. I do not know why. The developer says they are not quite sure why that happens. So uh, just download the example project and upgrade it. You will have to go into the plugins folder and, and change the plugin version from 4.2 to 4.6, then allow um, Unreal Engine to upgrade to Unreal Engine 5 and then change your plugins again into Node.js for Unreal Engine 5. And uh, then it should be working. In order to make sure that everything works, I use the first Node app, not the web app, in order to get information right into Unreal. So with a Node.js plugin in Unreal 5 at long last, and with the code that's very, very quite simple if you know some programming basics, you can then put that into Unreal. And as you can see, I wanted to emulate what I already saw in the web app. So here in the console and up here as well, you can see the percentage of focus or calmness at any given moment. Of course, I can also just give it the a zero point something something value directly to use as my uh, analog number that goes up and down. For instance, if I want to use the force or if I want to make fire or whatever it is, I would have to compare my focus against my calmness uh, in percentages or just in, uh, you know, in analog values. Do take into account, however, that you will have to modify the code a little bit. The original example gives you a .env environment file to put your information in here. Of course, I got rid of sensitive information. And then it would get information from that .env file. But guess what? Uh, Unreal or the plugin in Unreal does not like reading extra environment files. So you will have to plug the information directly in. My next step, I think, would be to try to replicate the login box I got from the web app. And then, of course, you can modify your own code to tell the computer to display certain information exactly as you see on screen. Sometimes the divider does not help that much there, but you know, it's just 
an example, which means that yes, I can develop something for Unreal Engine using the Chrome directly over the cloud because uh, when I tried using the BrainFlow plugin, there was some things that did not allow the plugin to find out the, the crown. I believe the developers said it is a little bit out of date and they will at a later point update it. So in the meantime, I will just have to use the tools that are at my disposal, which seem to be quite easy to wield once you get to understand the basics of how it works. Yes, you will need a little bit of programming knowledge for these kinds of devices, but it seems that it is worth it for the kind of gameplay that you could potentially have. So in conclusion, this is the Neurosity Crown. I quite frankly find it much more comfortable than the Emotive, mm, but some people who have tested it seem to not like to have it all day long. Uh, the good thing is that it has some extensions here so that it's not so small for your big, big head. In the end, it doesn't have direct plug and play support for Unity on Unreal, but if you wiggle things around for a day or two, get into the forums, Google a lot of things, you may be able to get some basic values into Unity or Unreal and then make the most out of them. So I think it looks much more elegant. The SDK is still developing, but the developers are very open to suggestions and they very much like people giving them suggestions and requests, um, mostly on their Discord channel. So if you yourself have any tips or tricks on how to integrate the crown into an Unity, Unreal, or any other game engine, well, let us know, send a message, make a video. So keep it up. Thank you very much for watching and see you later.